What is up you guys it is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about a few things that Identity has done, has fixed, and what they need to fix to make sure this game doesn't completely die more than it already has. So basically what we got in this last patch was they fixed a few bugs, you know like the, the normal stuff, the lighting fixes and the bug fixes and the UI changes, whatever. And they made it to where we could interact with furniture in our apartment. We are also going to get a shooting range very, very soon. Um, I don't know how soon. Maybe very, very, maybe months very soon. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're going to get that shooting range. It's going to add a little bit of gameplay. And we're going to be able to figure out, you know, what it's like to actually shoot guns. And I don't really expect this game to, like, gain a lot of traction until, like, the beta comes out. But, you know, like, I'm still going to play it. I'm still going to make funny gameplays on it because I am actually a funny person. And other people were funny in this game. And I actually did have to put on a hat because, you know, my hair got a little bit greasy. But let's get right into the list of what I think they need to do to make this game better. To make it to where people don't stop playing it right now and just refund and refund and the game dies. And they have to go bankrupt. So the first thing they need to do is they need to re-engage past buyers with new features, okay? So they've been doing this with me a lot because, you know, I got in and they, there really wasn't a lot. And then they added the gaming chair. I don't know. For some reason, that just, like, I don't know. It made me want to, like, kind of customize my apartment more. And um, that's probably the biggest thing, like, the biggest time consumer that I've had is customizing the apartment. And then, obviously, like, going and messing around, like, downstairs where there's a bunch of people all over the place. Next, they need to fix game-breaking glitches. You know, uh, I saw this guy. I was, I was watching his stream, and he was called... He was called Troll Gaming or something, and I was watching him play Identity, and he was in the elevator, and his character just starts flailing around like this. And obviously I don't have a video of it, because I'm not going to just record this guy's stream, but it happened, and he was like, okay bro, I'm getting off now. You know, he, he was just mad, he was getting off, he, like there wasn't a lot to do. There's really not a lot to do for the average gamer. Because not everyone just enjoys like walking around and talking to random people and going and buying clothes customization and all that but that's really what this is about it's about customization and testing new features and that's not not what a lot of people understand right now at this point in time but hopefully people start to get an understood understanding of it and I myself have had to understand that this this isn't gonna be like extremely you know captivating right now Next thing I think that they need to do is they need to work less on assets and more on game mechanics. And you see this a lot. They have a ton of assets, a ton of clothing, a ton of stuff to customize. Um, not actual character customization, but they need to up that too. But um, not a ton of stuff to customize. They got a ton, a ton of uh, ton of furniture and whatnot. But they need to fix the core gameplay elements, and they already have fixed a lot of them. I have not, I have not had a single huge glitch in like the past two weeks that I haven't initiated myself. So I think that they are like leaning more towards that, and they are actually working on the gameplay mechanics more. I think that they need to be a little bit more smooth whenever you're walking. I think it shouldn't be like kind of like oh, like weird, you know. I don't know. They need to make it a little bit more smooth, in my opinion, in my opinion, but next we got hire full-time devs. Paratus, you need to hire full-time devs. I see one developer on it and it's cyber, okay? And then you're a programmer too. You guys are going to be working tirelessly. You guys are going to be like having to deal with freelancers all the time. They don't have the same dedication to the company as a full-time developer would you know you have to if you have to take out loans I know you probably already have but if you have to take out loans because a bunch of people have tried to refund and refund if you have to take out loans then do it get some full-time devs you need them if you want this game to go anywhere in the future you need full-time devs and you need to work tirelessly on the SWAT module people are already getting tired of the town square I saw it coming not a lot of people are in there there may be like 20 people has been the highest that I've seen in my like server I don't know but um I'd say there's probably one or two servers running at all times on the on the town square so you guys need to be working on that SWAT module bring in some FPS players bring in some third-person shooter players bring in those players and show them really what the gun mechanics are like because we need to see that okay next we need to balance those updates okay there needs to be a good balance between assets 
and gameplay fixes okay there needs to be a good balance there can't just be like you drop in 40 assets and then have no gameplay uh, improvements at all there needs to be a balance okay and also I think that you guys should do one update per week and then just do a few hot fixes if you have noticed any game breaker glitches because then that way you um, there will be more content into an update and I won't have to every time I want to go play identity I won't have to update it because a lot of people are probably being turned away because they have to update it and they're like oh it's not even worth it I'll just wait and then they don't end up playing also objects in the apartment they definitely need to be more interactive okay and I've already seen this there's interaction in the um, apartments with the paintings the painting system needs to be fixed by the way um, there's more there's more interaction with furniture I can sit in my gaming chair but I think we need the TVs we need to have that stream being able to pull up we need a radio we need to be able to listen to music in our apartment I want to have my own karaoke room in my apartment where my friends can come over I want to have parties in my apartment and everybody can come into my apartment and just kind of be weird and like talk and you know dance whatever whatever they want to do and on my discord people were suggesting that they would add in or that they should add in microtransactions and yes I know microtransactions kind of seem a little weird but like I mean a lot of people play Fortnite and the skins this was this was coined from Baron Quinn in my discord the skins are ten dollars and it doesn't feel like a lot you know but you end up spending like three hundred four hundred dollars on skins because they're ten dollars and I know that a lot of people would get angry if they made it to where a house costs sixty dollars but on the flip side they could reimburse those those players that spent all that money to where they could even maybe gift uh, gift an apartment to one of their friends or that they could uh, get a certain amount of in-game cash so that they could spend it whenever the beta comes out or whenever the the full game comes out but they definitely need to do that they definitely need to add microtransactions in to where you can buy a bicycle for ten dollars and then that way they can get money so that they can continue development because at this point it seems like they're kind of drying up in funds because of all the people who want a refund because of all the people who are just bailing on the the whole project because of this town square module being released and when I saw it whenever I was playing it I really didn't think that so many people would be like oh refund 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 I really did not think that the next thing on the list is I want there to be needs for stuff like eating I need there to be needs I want to have withdrawal symptoms whenever I do heroin or I smoke cigarettes I want that to be a thing in town square not just the beta I want it to be a thing in town square so that I feel like I need to come back to my player check on how he's doing make sure he's okay and just stuff like that you know next there needs to be pets like now there needs to be pets now okay if if you buy a pet I don't want to wait until the beta comes out to claim that pet. I want there to be little dogs running around in town square, like going up into people's apartments. Like, that would be so cool. Next, they need to work on the job portion of the game. Yes, job portion. That was a huge selling point of identity. And I really think that whenever you click, what does it mean to be a police officer? It shouldn't pop up nothing. Okay, they need to make a description for that. They need to have different jobs that you could go and you can look at in the town square module or maybe in the swap module you know like they need that they need that um they need to people need to see that the jobs are actually being worked on they need to see um that they're not spending their money on nothing and that leads me into my next thing what they should have done is worked on module 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 beta instead of working on module beta module beta beta module you know like making all sorts of assets for other things whatever they should have been working on one thing and then going to the next and then going to the next and working in a linear pattern they tried to make the whole game in this short amount of time and it just made it to where identity took a lot longer to release and that's going to end off this video um if you guys have any other improvements that they need to make before the game dies um put them down in the comments I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Just wanted to say I'm not an identity fanboy. Um, I really love all of you guys, and I really hope this game like pulls it out, pulls pulls out itself. You know, I hope it I hope it gets to be the game that I wanted it to be. I've dreamed about this. I've dreamed about a game like this since I was a young boy. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Um, the the winner 
of the um, giveaway will be announced this Friday. Um, probably somewhere around in between 3 and 6 p.m. Um, Central time. Yeah, Cent Central U.S. time zone. Um, so, yeah. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.